Hello everyone, this is Tina from Tina's Workshop and today is Friday, June 28th and you will see this tomorrow on Saturday. Um, it is currently 83 degrees right now, which it feels warmer. I don't know, I'm hot. It's supposed to get up to 90 today, so I'm not looking forward to it at the moment. <laughs> but um, I've like piled stuff. I'm trying to get ready for that uh, weaving class that I have this next week and I have to cut up a bunch of t-shirts and stuff and I have this pile of t-shirts sitting right in front of my notes. Makes it hard to see my notes. That's better. <laughs> um, so this is episode 16 and I don't have a whole lot this week. I've got a couple finished objects, some work in progress, and um, some mail or things coming in. Um, so let's start off with my watermelon basket socks. I am super excited to say they are done and I love them. They almost came out identical but I did end up with a little bit of white on the tip of this one that wasn't on this one. And I was trying to look to see, and right up here, I think there was just, there was a little bit more red here than there was here, which made it just slightly off when I got to the toe. But I absolutely love them. I started them of my notebook out. I'm all over the place. Um, I started them on June 14th and I finished them on June 24th so I'm very proud of myself. Um, the yarn was the Premier Fruits and the Lion Brand Bonbon and the colorway for this is watermelon but I don't have a colorway for this. <clears throat> and 93% acrylic 7% PBT, and then this is cotton. Um, I used uh, size one chow goo, nine inch circulars. And the, the pattern was kind of a mixture of things. I mixed up um, Premier's pattern and um, Kay Linton's vanilla socks. Um, I did a two where am I at? I did a two by two rib, but I alternated it every two rows and did it for eight rows. So it gave that basket weave look, hence the watermelon basket. And then I did another four rows in the leg. So it's a really shorty short. And then I did the slip stick heel and 65 rows in my foot before the toe decrease. And I love the way they came out. I think they are so cute. The only thing that bothers me a little bit, and I know it's because of using the two different kinds of yarn, is the cuff is a little bit bigger. I wish the cuff had just been a tiny bit smaller, but I still like it. So I'm really happy with those. And that is my second pair of socks for summer sock camp with the crazy sock lady. Um, then let's see, my other finished object, I'm trying to leave my book open here. Um, my other finished object is down here. I did the sock cozy or yarn cozy light by Nitty Natty on YouTube um, and on Ravelry, 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 Natalie Coons. Um, so she's got a couple different ones. She's got the yarn cozy light and then she's got a mini. Then she also has ones that are crocheted and they're basically to keep your, if you pull from the center of your cake, then as that cake is running out in the center, it doesn't like come apart. And I generally pull from the outside because I don't like that happening. And I thought the perfect time to use that would be with my son's project that I'm gonna be doing. So here's my finished yarn cozy. 
so it's going to hold that cake perfectly and then it'll stay with it and this is now the caked up version of that mystery machine yarn that I'm going to do the muscle burl hat with. So I have not yet started the muscle burl hat, but I have everything ready and it's all in my little Scooby Doo bag that I made. So that's going to be a fun one. Um, so those are the only two things I actually finished this week. Um, I've been keeping track this year of all the things I've been finishing each month, which is kind of fun because a lot of times I totally lose track. Like that yarn cozy, I wouldn't even really paid that much attention because I was making that to use on there. And it's not something that would register to me that, oh, that was something else I made. <clears throat> so I have done a total so far for June of three knit squares for my Wonderland yarns, one crochet square, the Beetlejuice socks, I've made of the sewn project bags, two large bags, four medium and three small. I did the Tomke skein of yarn, the watermelon basket socks, and the yarn cozy. So not a whole lot this month, but it is what it is. And Okay, so what I have been working on the most this week, I'm always losing things. I keep stacking stuff on top of things. Okay, so what I've been working on the most this week in the chicken bag that I made that has the fun chickens inside, I am working on another emotional support chicken for our neighbor girl whose birthday is coming up in a few days so I'm trying to get it done for her and I am using a uh, red heart super saver in the color macaw and I am using Caron simply soft in the color Jersey Shore and I normally would not mix these two yarns together because I feel like Caron simply soft is just a tiny bit thinner even though it's the same number on the yarn but in this project I think it works just fine so I have my cute little chicken needle stoppers come on oh focus aren't those cute those were from um, uh, happy little mermaid yarn company um, and I absolutely love them. They're so cute. Anyway, um, I have been working along and I am working. I just finished the second, I think I just finished the second breast. Anyway, there is where I am at. And so you can see the accent color right here. And it has some colors that are very similar in it. So when I actually did the accent color that runs right down the tail here, you hardly notice it because at that point it was teal. I should have changed and pulled it up to the next color, but I didn't. And I mean, it still works. So I've got one stripe so far of color and I should be close to changing again. And so there will be two stripes of color up here in the neck, but I think it's really cute. She likes, her mom told me she likes teals and she also likes tie dye. So I thought, okay, this is great with the teal and this color kind of has a little bit of a tie dye look to it. So I thought that would be fun. And then I asked her mom, um, if she she thought she'd like the lavender in it like I have in mine and she's like oh yeah she'd love that so it's gonna have a little bit of a lavender belly too and I am using this time because the first time I did the one that I spun so my gauge my needles had to be different the second one I did I doubled the yarn so my needles had to be different so this one I am actually doing 
just the regular worsted yarn and I am using size US 6 and I'm using the prim needles and I actually am really enjoying them I didn't think I would they have that little knob at the end and they have a very matte feel to them and I'm actually really enjoying them I did not think I would like them I like the slickness like of the chow goos and stuff but I am really enjoying these and I do not tend to split my yarn as much so there you go but so that is work in progress and hopefully I will have that done within the next day or two um oh i forgot to grab that i could be right back i hope you can hear in the background my son is singing with his radio i love listening to him sing okay so I have not done much on this because I've been working on the chicken, but my cozy memories, if you remember, I was wanting to try using the um, single strand and the double strand. So I finished the square that I did the single strand and it is very open and loose. The stitch definition is just, it kind of gets lost. I mean, it's it feels wonderful, but I don't know that I like the way it looks. So I've started on the second one and this is with the double strand and the stitch definition, I like the way it looks a lot better. So I think this is what I'm gonna end up doing. And anyway, look at it, I need to finish this one. So I will compare the two when I get that one done and I've been adding some more yarn into my bag, my other chicken bag, um, like my watermelon sock yarn got added. So I am still working on that, but slowly, which this is supposed to be a casual project, something I can pick up when I need a break from something I'm working on, or I you know, just want something a little bit mindless or whatever, so. I've done very little with it, but there it is. And that is, that pattern is by Shelly DuPont of Polka Dot Creek. And I will have links for everything. The Emotional Sport Chicken. Um, Learning, Learning Tree LA, I think. Um, so I will have the links to everything in the, down below. <laughs> And if I have forgotten something, just let me know and I will make sure the information is put up there. Um, I do have a Ravelry page. I am trying to keep up on that. So I still need to put in my information on the watermelon basket socks. Um, I do have the information from the Beetlejuice socks I had done. So I'm still trying to... My son just went from one room to the next. Could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I totally lost what I was saying. I think I was talking about my stuff up on Ravelry. The Beetlejuice socks, I have that up. I need to do watermelon basket socks. Um, I think I think I may still need to update the emotional support chicken from the second one I made. I'm not sure. And then I will update it with um, the current stuff. So I'm trying to keep up on that. And I just haven't been really great with it. But I'm trying to do better. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So I have not started my next set of socks yet. I have everything ready to go. I have it in the, this great little bag from Happy Mermaid Company. Happy Mermaid Yarn Company with the, see I still have the tag on it, my bamboo pop sock in the colorway Wildflowers, that's right. Wild, I should remember that because I got flowers all over this. Anyway, I want to play around with a couple different things. So I'm combining a bunch of different patterns and then some stuff that I'm just figuring out that style and 
I don't even know if you could say it's combining different patterns so much anymore because I'm doing a lot of altering and I can't help myself. And I do this with crochet all the time. Um, you, and if you've watched some of my other videos, you will have seen how I've gone. I started with a pattern and then it just doesn't work that way for me and I go somewhere else, which is much easier to do with crochet than it is with knitting. But I have an idea in my head the way I want these socks to look. And so I've been typing it up to make sure I have it exactly how I'm wanting to do it before I start it. So even though I haven't done anything on the socks yet, they are still a work in progress because I'm getting the pattern all written down the way I want to do it. So that is hopefully will be cast on soon. And I have, so let's see. Um, so I am getting ready for this month and I mentioned it last month that this month or this coming month, I mean, we're still a few days away, but we're almost in July and this is my last video before July. So I am going to do um, Christmas in July for July. One, I absolutely love Christmas and two, in reality, if we're making presents, being knitters and crocheters and spinners and everything else, if we are making stuff for people for Christmas, we've got to start doing it in July. So I'm doing Christmas in July. And I'm actually going to tell you some of the stuff I'm going to be doing. We will have our regular Wonderland yarns because I do that one every month. So that one's technically not going to be Christmassy. But um, I will start recording maybe when I'm done with this video or tomorrow I will start recording my for my first week which will be this coming Wednesday and I am going to be doing um, Christmas uh, yarn I am I'll let you have a little preview I'm not going to explain it all because you need to watch the video for that but if it's something that piques your interest then Make sure and come back on Wednesday. Get it to where you can kind of see what all is in here. I am going to be blending and spinning a Christmas colored colorway yarn and I'm super excited about it. Um, and then I'm going to be one week, I'm going to be knitting this vintage Christmas stocking. I've done it two other times. So I'm going to be knitting that. And it is a vintage pattern that is um, in I just lost the wording, like the free space or whatever. So I can actually share the pattern with you. Um, and then, and actually that'll probably be the third video I do in, of Christmas. The second one I do is going to be my crochet pattern. And it's going to be a Christmas stocking, but it is going to, I'm not turning the right way. It is going to have Dobby as the main image. And I'm really excited about that one too. The baby that it's going for, the first two stockings that I had made for them for their other two children, the first one was Hedwig, the second one was Quidditch. And they came out really cute and they love Harry Potter. So I was kind of thinking about Dobby and then I asked them, what, what do you think I should put on it? And they both agreed Dobby. And I hadn't even mentioned that. I was like, okay, that's what I'm doing. So I'm still trying to lay it out and design it. I've got my, my grid written down. So I've got to draw my image still on here that is going to be for that stocking. So that'll be week two of the Christmas videos. Week three will be the vintage one. And then for week four, and I don't know if this week four is going to because I haven't paid, well, let me look at the calendar. What does the calendar do for July? 
we have one, two, three, four. We do have, we have five Wednesdays in July. So the last week in July, we're gonna come full circle and the yarn that I make from this, I am going to do something with that. I don't know what yet until I get the yarn done. And then I'll decide what I wanna make with it. So that's gonna come full circle. So that is our July lineup will be blending and making the yarn, doing the crocheted stocking, doing the vintage knit stocking, Wonderland yarn somewhere in the mix, and ending with a project with that yarn. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure and stay tuned, make sure and click like, click subscribe, and if you wanna be notified when those videos come up, click the notification bell. And I upload those videos, my tutorials, my travels, my whatever videos, they will go up on Wednesdays and these videos always go up on Saturdays. So that is future works in progress that are coming up. And let's see. Um, and that gets us through our works in progress and we're on to mail. So the first thing, super, super cute. My husband ordered this for me. I absolutely love it. How cute. And the wheel doesn't fully turn, but it, it does wiggle a little bit. I can get my finger on it. It wiggles. And if you turn it over, the bars here, they wiggle. So it's like super cute. He, I've been wearing this one a lot that a friend of mine, Mary, had gotten me that's silver. But I don't know if you guys have noticed in the past, my go-to necklace that I wear all the time is usually this one. And I got this when I was in the hospital right after I gave birth to my first son and I love being a mom so I wear that all the time. So my husband found this cute little spinning wheel and when we got it the ring was actually in this piece right here. There's a little tiny hole there and that's where the ring was so it was going to hang like this and I didn't like that. It needed to hang this way. And it took a lot of work because that was such a tiny hole to get the ring out. I finally did and I strung the ring through the top of the spinning wheel. So now it hangs the right way. So it is so absolutely cute. I just love it. So that is number one. What did he tell me when he handed it to me? Happy just because I love you day or something like that. He can be very sweet when he wants to. Um, then yesterday, my son and I, we were, <laughs> his chair broke the other day. And when I say it broke, the whole back just, <laughs> he was sitting on it and he leaned and he started hearing it crack. And this whole back just fell apart on his chair. And this is like the third chair he's had that's broke and he's not hard on him. He doesn't really even roll them around a bunch because he has it on carpet. And the sp he's got about as much space to move around by his desk that I have right here. He is six foot five, but, which makes it really hard when he's trying to find a seat that fits him right because he does like to lean back. He's got, he gets ones that lean back and he likes to be able to lean back in it and you know, rest his head. Well. In a chair like this, you can't lean back and rest your head. And when you're six foot five and you find the taller chairs that would fit somebody like me, they still don't fit him. So he's had a heck of a time trying to find a new chair to get. And he finally found one he decided to order. And we thought, ah, we'll go buy Habitat for Humanity and see if they have like a $10 chair he can get until the other one comes in in two weeks. And then we could like give it away free on Facebook Marketplace or something. 
So we went over to Habitat for Humanity. That's where I actually got this chair and I absolutely love this chair. I think I paid $20 for it. And the only thing that was wrong with it is it's a little bit worn on the handles, but otherwise this chair has worked perfectly for me. I just, I went in there one day not even looking and found this one and I really liked it and it came home with me. But we went over there, did not find a chair brought my husband home some wood to work on the lathe with and my son walks me over to show me this and he says mom I almost didn't show you I'm like I was so jazzed all day yesterday I'm so glad you showed this to me because I've been wanting one <laughs> let's see kind of hard to show it to you the whole thing Gr giant giant round and it has one two three nope I'm getting stuck on the stairs chair three four oh let go six there's six of these hanging baskets and every now and then there's parts where you can take it apart if you don't want to use all of them and I've been wanting one of these to dry my fleece on. And he had seen it and he thought, oh, this would be great to occasionally dry shirts or something on. I said, oh, we can still do that. I said, but I love it for the drying of the fleece because I generally dry my fleece on my skirting tape. So if I have fleece drying, I can't skirt anything because there's fleece on it. So this, I can put it out and sometimes I'll put multiple different things out there and I'm trying to keep them separated. Well, I put different ones on different layers and what I love is I generally only prep fibers during the summer because I need to have it outside to dry it and everything I can take this inside and have it hanging so I'm super excited to get this and it only cost me three dollars yeah deal of the day so then just for the heck of it, there's a thrift store that's down the street that I know a lot of times has lots of furniture. So we go in down there and immediately he found this little electric guitar. And I mean, it's a small little electric guitar and he's been wanting a guitar to keep in his truck. And it was like 30 bucks and he's like, mom, I want this. And I was laughing at first because it was pink and his brother loves pink. And I was like, oh, we'll get this for John, even though John doesn't play. <laughs> and I was just being sarcastic and my son just went crazy over it. I was like, okay. I said, let, let me buy it for you, please. And he's like, okay, mom, I'll let you buy it. He, the child never likes to let me buy things, but he knows that occasionally I really like to be able to get him something. So I bought it and he came home and it had a couple nicks in it. So he distressed it. So it had this like really cool look when he was done. And he's like, I like it so much now. I almost don't want to put it in my truck. <laughs> so he's waiting for the strings to come in today so we can put new strings on it. And while we were in there, I looked over and I see this bag. And we all know how much I love bags and I love flannel, the plaids and stuff like that. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I really like this. And it was $4. I mean, for a thrift store, it was $4. But I didn't have a zipper pull. So somebody put a keychain on it and the keychain made it worth it. Speaking of Harry Potter, this great snitch keychain that's hanging on it. It was almost worth the four dollars just for the keychain bonus i love the bag <laughs> so i have that as a new notions bag or very small project bag either way so that was fun we had fun shopping a couple different stores sometimes it's just fun to see what you go and find um let's see oh that was a future work that i forgot to show you so I have backtracking for a minute sorry um, I got into all my stores of fiber and stuff when I was trying to figure out my Christmas colorway 
and I found these two. Um, this one is called What's This? And it's a Superwash Merino by Into the World. And it's beautiful colors on it. And this one is called Sentinel. And it's a Superwash Blue Face, Blue Face Lester, um, also by Into the World. And this one has blues in it that this one doesn't have, but I think the colors still kind of go enough together that I want to spin these two up and then make an emotional support chicken because I have, I think I told you about it a while back, the last four spinning wheels and tons of fleece and a whole bunch of other stuff that was given to me. Um, the woman who gave it to me, the only thing she asked for was she said, make me something colorful. And I haven't had the chance to do it yet and I hadn't forgotten I just hadn't had the chance to do it and when I was going through stuff I was determined I pulled this out I thought this is very colorful and I'll make her a fun emotional support chicken I think she'll like that so after the one I'm working on I want to spin this up and make a chicken with that so that is a future work in progress that was sitting with this box which is why I remembered it so just before I started recording this video I walked up to my mailbox because I saw this was in and I thought I would get it out and not only show it to you but open it with you. So I ordered some stuff from Furls Crochet. They were having a big birthday sale. I think I told you about it last week. And I couldn't help myself but order stuff because the sales were just too good and I can't honestly remember everything that I bought I think I bought four different things and at least one or two was mystery hooks because they were like seven dollars each oh I think I remember I think this one was a needle case so you get to watch with me <laughs> well I remember oh I remember what the other thing was now I got because it matches the needle case <laughs> How beautiful is that? That's the needle case. Comes apart just like that. And the needles go in there. So pretty. And then, let's see. Oop, we've got stickers. Oop, real stickers. I love this sticker. This is so me. Don't touch my furls. Y'all know I love my furls. Don't be touching them. And this one goes with that. Sorry about the crinkly. Go that way. Got any guesses? It's a massive box. All you crocheters out there, any guesses before I open it? The wood on I was trying to see if it said what the wood was on here because um, laurel, that's what it is. The wood on this is laurel and the wood on this is laurel. How awesome is that? Oh, I love it. There we go. It's a size S crochet hook. And they did have ones bigger than this, but um, I show, if you watch all my videos, I showed that big ball of yarn a while back when I did this basket. I had that massive ball of yarn. And when I crochet with that big ball of yarn that's like multiple strands, I use this size hook. So I thought this would be really fun. Plus it gives me an excuse to use up extra stuff in my stash. <laughs> So I got that, and then, ooh, I got more hooks than I thought. I've got three more hooks in here. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else in the box now. Move that over. Okay. Huh. Ah. <laughs> 
Wait, open the other end. All righty. Okay. Let's see if this one is. You open the other end. Let's do this. This one is a P, and this was. Sorry, more crinkling. I have to look at my paper to remember again what I ordered. Um, okay, this one was a mystery second. So I th think this might be from their gemstone collections and be garnet or ruby, I think. Very pretty. Okay, wait, open the other end. Okay. Gotta do this right. Oh, got the same color again. And this one is an N. Might have to look that up and see what the colorway is. Uh, go here. F-U-R-O-S, rose crochet. Come on, there we go, okay. B, no, I don't need that. Walmart, where's the pretty red one? Oh, it's Aries. Hey, that's kind of cool. It's the it's the Aries zodiac crochet hook, and that's really kind of cool because my husband and I are both Aries. And I love the red because to me the red's got a very garnet-y look, which I love the garnet. So, really cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, and then the last one. Wait, open the other end. I keep getting the wrong end. This one was a specific one. Oh, these are fun. Peekaboo. Now, how do I? Oh, there we go. Okay. And even though my husband makes these, I couldn't help myself because I do like my frills. I love my husband's hooks too. But this one is Purple Heart, and I. I may not be a purple person, yes, I know that, but I love purple heart wood. I think because it's so different, you know, it's one of those that's a very different color. Um, I love anything that's, I love normal wood too, but I just find it so intriguing when you find these woods that are very different in color. So this one is a purple heart and it's a size F hook. And it is, these are all their streamlined hooks because they don't make the Odyssey anymore. So. If I can get better lighting on that. So, yay! Fun. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's fun because it's new hooks, but also because I love furls. Can you tell I like furls? I should seriously be affiliated with them. I'm not, but I seriously should be because I just love furls. Um, Okay, so that is all of my mail or things that have come in. Um, I told you last time that my husband and I will be at Lambtown. So we will be at Lambtown in Dixon, California on October 5th to 6th. Uh, we will be there with his woodworking. So if you are planning to come, make sure and stop and see us. We will be uh, inside. Um, life stuff. I told you last week about my kidney infection. It's still been bothering me this whole last week. I ended up making another trip to the ER. Um, like two days ago, I literally was in bed sleeping all day. I could not stay awake. I mean, I was out all day. Uh, 
but I finally started to feel more normal yesterday. My doctor is sending me for an ultrasound um, on my kidneys that will be next next Friday just to make sure that there's you know nothing else going on but um, I am starting to finally feel better from that uh, I have the weaving camp that will be this week Monday Tuesday Wednesday weaving with the kids um, for the summer camp so that's gonna be a lot of fun and then you can also look forward to the Christmas in July I was telling you about so I'm super excited about that too so I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful next week, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye.